Pollution's a funny thing. You're at the mercy of it, but it also gives people this kind of feeling of being free. Whether it's going out in calm seas or going out in wild seas, it really provides a place to reset. You have time to think things through that you might not normally and get away from everything at the same time. I've always been in the water. It was just cancer that took me out of the water. I was diagnosed with uh, stage 3B Hodgkin's when I was 29 years old, a uh, day before my birthday. I was in chemo five days directly after that. I went through 12 months of chemo and then I did six months of radiation immediately following that. I'd say that was the lowest I've ever been. Listening to that chemo drip, just drip, 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 drip. That whole time I was daydreaming about anything outside of the cancer ward. And I kind of dreamt up this idea of somehow raising some funds to give back to this area that I was taking so much from. I mean, I think throughout my whole treatment, I had probably a hundred different doctors, nurses. I was kind of looking for a way to give back. I didn't know what that meant. I remember the phone call from Dr. Schiller. You have no new growth and your, and your tumor's gone. It's like, you know, let's go. So I dreamt up this concept, Paddle to Live, in 2010. I think it was a few months after my last treatment. And I paddled out to the Channel Islands, 150 miles back into Newport Beach. We raised money for UCLA at that time for their research. And it was pretty successful. The cancer took my voice, but couldn't take away my drive. The whole Paddle to Live project it started to grow out of our control into something else. This bigger concept of we are ocean, but we can take others and go on these kind of ocean-based experiences with them, and they can get something out of it themselves. Oddly enough, there was no comprehensive outdoor program for cancer patients. So that even motivated me more to keep pushing really, really hard to get these outdoor programs. We Are Ocean's actually a public benefit nonprofit. Our goal is to basically improve the lives of cancer patients and survivors. And we do that through ocean-based recovery camps and lifestyle experiences. I feel about 100% better after I'm on the water for an extended amount of time. Yeah, Jack. It really does change my body, and I know it changes a lot of other people's bodies. You know, the, the camp at Catalina, we just shared this amazing experience for five days with 21 different cancer patients and survivors. Everyone had something different, but everyone had something the same as well. The experience on Catalina definitely gave them the will to live and be kind of adventurous and just be out on the water doing stuff. And I know it, it delivered something that regular cancer treatment can't do. I think it's an extremely powerful thing. 